What's up everybody? Brian from Angling Anarchy here and I have my good buddy Noah Humfeld of Madison Angling Guide Service and uh, we would usually be ice fishing today. We would. It's February, February 2nd in southern Wisconsin and it's already 40 degrees at 7 o'clock so the heck with ice fishing. We've got a perfectly open little river back here and we're gonna try to fish for pike and quite honestly whatever else bites today. Uh, we've got, check this out, a little 12 foot of Lumacraft, so it's a uh, slightly smaller craft than what we're used to fishing out of, but... Uh... We're gonna die. <laughs> if you see this video, we didn't, but <laughs> dude, yeah. we're gonna die. So hopefully you're watching this, <laughs> and, and we don't, but uh, uh, this is just a shallow little river. Um, there's there's smallies in here, there's pike, there's there's gotta be water. There's gotta be a little bit of everything. It's a river, you know, it's it's connected to every other river down here, so there's, there's all sorts of fish, so... But that's our target species, pike. It's a little bit breezy today. It's going to be 45 degrees. Let's stop talking. Let's go fishing. All right, everybody. We're going for pike. And I cracked out. Look at this beat up old Plano box. What is in it? Man's minus ones. Look at all that good hook rust going on in there. These are old school baits that I've been using for years. In fact, these stretch minus ones, I don't think they even make them anymore, quite honestly. But this is, I think this is a mid stretch. We're fishing really, really shallow water. So uh, as the name says, it's a minus one. It only goes about a foot down. So this in a real bright color is going to be my weapon of choice, I think, for pike. So let's see what we can do with this guy. Right. All of a sudden the wind decides it has to fish. Oh, oh boy. What he got, buddy? I don't know. Oh, he's off. Oh, no. Gator. Was it a gator? It was, yeah. It was crazy. It was like really weird, hard, like thump, thump, thump head shakes. Okay. Yeah, that was a pike. Well, all right. First action of the day. Probably totally blown out by wind, but that's all right. Felt kind of good to have something pull back on a spinning rod instead of an ice rod for a change. <laughs> oh, darn it. Fish, got her. Oh yeah, dude. Twitch, twitch, wham. Hooked up. February, pike fishing, out of a boat. How cool. Yeah, this is a netter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good one, dude. I love how that thing's just rolling. Oh, maybe it's not that big, but we are gonna net it. You ready? Yep. And, oh bam. Look at how slow that thing was kinda moving in the water, just rolling around like, oh, I'm cold. <laughs> wow, that was sick, man. All right. Let's get her unhooked here. We'll take a look at this thing. Don't. All right. Let's take a look at this peppy little fish. It's actually not, not a bad fish at all. No. Let's see here. That <laughs> water's cold. Holy cow. Check that thing out. Chunky, tiny river. Oh, she's gonna flop. She is not happy. Check that thing out. Crush the husky jerk fish in super cold water. Dude, this water's gotta be like 35 degrees. Tiny little creek, it's like what? We're in like not even a foot of water. Yeah. Smashed it. So it's cold, it's cold water. They can be out of water for a little bit of time before they're kind of in trouble, but we're gonna get her right back so we can catch another one. Oh, gone. Yeah. Nice. All right, hell yeah, man. Now you need to catch one. All right, well, we've been struggling for a little bit. We made quite, ooh, there's a little bit of water on the lens there. Um, quite a drift, and uh, finally, Noah whacked well, our target species, a nice little pike. So we're just gonna keep casting, see if we can get one or two more of these things today. There's fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
That's what we're looking for. Come here, chunky. Got her. <laughs> nice one, dude. Finally, your violently sartreous crankbait comes through. <laughs> I love it. Sick. All right, well, after a few miles of uh, floating down this river, we finally got to the spot where we know there's a couple of pike hanging out. Noah's got one and a carp. <laughs> and now I finally have a pike. Let's take a look at him and try not to tip the boat over. Thanks, sir. There we are. There. All right. Look. I mean, these aren't like giant pike by any means, but that is so much fun to be out on the soft water in February chasing pike with regular fishing equipment. It's great. All right, we'll just dump her in here. There she goes. Let's get going. Let's get going, man. It's awesome. There's a good one. Oh, it's a small. It's a. It's a small one. I don't think it's that big. <laughs> Jeez. You're just watching this other guy catch one for sure. Ah. No, that's all right. That was violent. That thing came that out was. Did he uh, get that one up? Yeah. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Look at that little chunker. They're really clean looking fish. Yeah, they're pretty, man. Super cool. Yeah, give me those, I suppose. Move so slow in this little boat, but there, <laughs> don't want to tip the damn thing over. That's a beautiful little pike, man. And he came up and just absolutely whacked that minus one. Fun little fish. All right, they are hitting, folks. Just takes off like a shot, man. You think in, in you know, of course, they're gonna be moving a little bit slower in this type of water, but that thing took off like a shot. So let's keep at it, man. Good. There's a fish. There's a fish. It's not big. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, he is hog tied. <laughs> That's a new technique. Yeah. Lassoing pike. There we go. Oh, he's had a rough go of it there. But, yeah. Not big, but just fun. Oh, he wants to go. Thanks, buddy. As if I'm not already wet enough from the water that's leaking in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> it's just a tiny leak. We'll be okay.
Salt water don't fly past your face. I'm good. Fish. Got her. Really? Really? On the fly, dude. On the fly. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, that's so sick. It's not a big one. But it is on the fly. <laughs> oh man, that was so cool. Under the boat, under the boat. No, 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 no. Stay out of there. Oh dude, that's a big one. No. Yeah. Oh! That was a big fish. In the anchor. It took me in the anchor. That was, oh, that was no. a big fish. It was big? Yeah. I didn't think it was that big. It was big. Oh, dude. Yeah. Dang it. Holy cow. That was like only a couple minutes in. Not even. I maybe took five casts with this thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. All right, I'm going to stop whining. We're going to catch one. That sucks. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Look at those head shakes. <laughs> he wasn't very big, but he uh, thought he was. <laughs> That's sick. Well, the old uh, man's minus one. Super stretch, or not super stretch, the man's stretch minus one, I guess. Not that you can get these anymore. You might be able to find them on eBay or something, but cool little bait. <laughs> Fish. Yep. Ah, uh, it's decent. Yeah, we better net it. Ready? Bam! On the fly. In February. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so freaking sick. That fly is chewed. They are not messing around when they eat that thing, man. Holy cow. Jeepers, dude. That thing is really hooked. Oh, let's see here. What is the situation? Okay, there's one. I think we got it by the big hook. All that hair and bucktail and stuff is just caught in the teeth. There we go. Yeah, that looks appetizing. <laughs> but, check that guy out. Not a giant, but that is the first pike I've caught on a fly rod in a really really long time look how feisty they are he's already kicking i love it all right let's get this thing back that was so sick okay goodbye there he goes. yeah man that was so cool nice. awesome Four. finally Smally! No way! Smally! I got the net, I got the net. Dude, it's a nice one. Too. Yeah, it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got it! Dude, <laughs> February smallmouth! That is so what cool. What is that? That is so cool. Dude, that is the craziest thing I have seen in a long time. <laughs> Alright, we gotta take a look at this thing. <laughs> 
All right, well, I, I wasn't really expecting to catch a smallmouth, but it's a river and you can catch anything, but this time of year, you just don't expect it. And it came up, you probably won't be able to see it because I was just sitting down, kind of making a couple casts in between rowing. But this thing came up, the bait stopped maybe a foot or two away from the boat and it just came up and ate it like a muskie following a bait in, so that was pretty cool. But this is a nice smallie, man. Let's see. Get those. Oh man, look at that. He's tensed up. What a nice little river smallie in February. Very cool. I'm gonna get a I got a little tape back here, I can get an idea of. like 17 give or take so all right <laughs> that was fun freaking real that's dude. so cool <laughs> so cool all right hey we got a couple out we got like one hour left before we got to get out and get moving so maybe we can bump into another one Well, I had a fantastic little outro filmed on the shores of the river that Noah and I floated down, but uh, the problem when you're using a phone as your camera is if you flip it onto selfie mode, it looks like this. All right, everybody, well, that wraps up a nice little float trip down the river. So we're doing the outro in the backyard again. Um, that was a fun day. We got into a bunch of fish. Uh, that fly fishing thing that Noah was doing is definitely a cool way to contact those fish. They definitely, the bigger ones definitely seemed uh, attracted more to that fly than they did the, the little minus one I was throwing. But um, yeah, that was that was a fun trip. The smallie was a bonus. And that is that for this week. Folks, we are in the middle of show season. So we've got a couple more shows coming up, the Muskie Expos, that sort of thing. I will be at Milwaukee coming up here. Uh, in fact, it'll be the weekend this video drops. We've got Wausau after that, and then we've got Minnesota after that. So come see me in the Chaos Tackle booth. I'd love to meet all you guys. And I think at the end of February, Nate and I are going to try to head out east and musky fish. It's 99% confirmed, so hopefully we'll have some fresh new musky content coming very soon. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you on the next vid.